And welcome back. Well, anime is short for Japanese animation. It's watched by all ages in Japan, and it spans across many genres, from drama to kid shows. Anime has gained recognition throughout the world with conventions in nearly every U.S. state. The biggest convention in Wisconsin is actually coming up in February, so next month. And in fact, out of all the conventions here in the city of Milwaukee, this is the sixth biggest. And joining us now to help explain a little bit more about the anime phenomenon is Corey Wood and Crystal Hampton with the Anime Milwaukee Convention. Nice to yeah. have both of Thank you here. Thank you for having Thank us you. here. Thank I you. only became aware of anime um, last year, I think, because we had uh, people on our show. We talked about about the convention for people out there who who, who don't get it how, how do you explain it well anime is short for Japanese animation that's how we see it in, here in the States and it's pretty much um, that in Japan they do a lot more with animation than we do here um, from like serious dramas to horror to kid stuff as well so we just um, admire that and it's admired around the world so um, yeah it's a way to celebrate it, yeah. kind of, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right. people actually dress up at right. these conventions, mm -hmm. right? Right. We, we have people, really, of all ages that attend these events. Um, it's open to anybody who wants to go. Um, we, have, we have people, you know, as young as, you know, two, you know, people that bring their babies along all the way up until, like, the senior citizens are 60, 65 that are coming along. And a lot of the costumes that people are je uh, dressing up in are, are imitating some of the characters in the actual animation shows, right? right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's their way to... Um, to uh, dress up as their favorite character. Um, you, they can uh, find their favorite poses of the character. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You actually brought some models here today, which yeah. I kind of yes. think helps illustrate even more what people do at a convention like this, the type of costumes mm -hmm. that people wear. So as we go through our models over there, tell us a little <laughs> bit about each one we see. Well, first of all, we have five of them. Two of yeah. them yes. I know are sisters. Should yeah. we go from tallest to shortest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, um, let's start with the gentleman on the end there. Sure. Um, basically, what we did, we brought a little bit, kind of show what we all do at the cons. Um, Lance, who's sporting actually one of our uh, vendors' uh, T-shirts, these from uh, Cube Crazy too. Um, okay. We have a lot of vendors that kind of come in. They sell their own anime products. Um, they come in. This, you know, the duration of the weekend. What is he acting out there? <laughs> he's just playing. He's just a typical video game nerd. You know, it's, it's one of our. It's one of our usuals that we have. We have a lot of people. We have different types and varieties. Not just people that like anime, but people that like video games. Um, people that like Star Wars and sci-fi. You know, even stuff to like you know the Doctor Who stuff that gets really popular. Can they, they game while they're there at the convention? Yes. Okay, so there's actual right. game stations set up for right. people. Right, and mm -hmm. it's 24 hours. It goes through the night. So all weekend, the video game and tabletop gaming is open for people to come in and play. So it's open to, to come in and leave or is it a lock-in? No, you can come in and leave as okay. long as you have your badge. So. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at our next girl. Oh, oh girl oh, and guy, they're <laughs> together, they're okay. partner. Yeah, let's talk about them. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the next group we have, it's one of the things that's special to Milwaukee. Um, not too many conventions have them in the area. It's our main cafe. Mm -hmm. um, they're hosting the players upstairs. It's the rotating restaurant that all the Hyatts have that they don't use anymore. Um, and they host throughout the weekend, and what they do is they bring little, like, you know, tea and the cupcakes to all the people around. They have the cute poses. Cute. Um, and they do that throughout the weekend and, you know, play little <laughs> games. And, and That's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have some kids um, as our last models, yes. and the two of them are sisters, right? Yeah. Hi, mm -hmm. guys. Yep, that's Brianna yeah, and Elena. Yeah, step forward a little bit. They are both <laughs> the, dressed up as Star Wars characters. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Elena is uh, Jason Solo, um, and Brianna is a sorcerer from the Dungeons and Dragons Star Wars game. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we get co what we what we get is cosplayers, which is short mm -hmm. or which is uh, like costume play, mm -hmm. and about half of our attendees like to dress up. So, um, yeah, we we uh, from Star Wars, sci-fi to any like any that's related to anime we, we you know appreciate and welcome mm -hmm. how do people get so interested in Japanese animation I think people who are not familiar with it look at it and go mm -hmm. oh, I don't get it <laughs> right right I mean I mean people start really young with it um, really what it is is taking the, the real live um, you know TV scenarios you see you see a bunch of dramas you see sci-fi you see action all that and they take it and they animate it so, and that's the wonderful thing. It's not just, you know, the kitty cartoons, like, you know, you see Pokemon out there, and a lot of people associate with that. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot more to it, where so you have those real life, you know, they have mecha out there, they've got action, they've got the drama, and, and people just love that, and they love the art style. Mm -hmm. And that's usually a huge thing that draws people into it. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite character in animation? Do you both have one? 
Um, I do. Uh, I'm a huge, it's called Evangelion. It's a huge mecha thing. Um, any of the people in there, Asuka, Rei, Shinji, that whole cast. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I don't know. <laughs> you got a I, like, I, like, I like a lot of. I like the mm -hmm. cute, um, cute anime. So um, I think uh, Chio Chan from Azaman Gadayo. That's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to beat that day. That's great. It's so nice to have you guys here. We're going to tell great. people about this convention yeah. you have coming up in February. This is for people who love anime, or maybe you've never um, been part of something like this before. Mm -hmm. Anyone is welcome. Mm -hmm. It's happening February 15th through the 17th next month at the Hyatt Regency and Delta Center. Uh, there's nonstop action beginning at 10 a.m. on Friday and ends 5 p.m. Sunday. You can find out more by visiting anime. Milwaukee.com for more convention information. Thanks, guys. Thank Great. you. Thank nice you. to have you. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you.